Hi everyone and welcome back. So we've done a lot, now let's actually try out an example using that equation we learned last time for fixed first law with steady state diffusion. And this is actually an amazing example because it's something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, it's about chemical protective clothing. So methylene chloride is a common ingredient for paint removers, but it's an irritant and it can be absorbed through my skin. So when using a paint remover, you should wear protective gloves. I usually do. So what we can get here is we have some butyl rubber gloves, you know, kind of the normal gloves you'd find in the kitchen. And they're 0.04 centimeters thick. Now, the maximum allowable flux to keep you from breaking out in hives um, for a 150 pound person is less than 3.5 times 10 to the negative seven grams per centimeter squared per second. So grams per centimeter squared per second. So we're caring about the area and the amount of time. So we want to find the uh, diffusion flux of methylene chloride through the gloves. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, it's not too terribly difficult because we know that the concentration of methylene chloride in my skin at first is zero. We know that this change in distance is simply the thickness of the gloves and the concentration of the paint remover is going to be 100. Or May at least very, very high for that particular ingredient. It might not be all of it, but it's going to be very, very high. Now we're assuming a linear concentration gradient through the glove. It might not be that to begin with, but it'll quickly approach that. Um, and what we don't necessarily know, what we'll have to look up is the diffusion coefficient for this process. The diffusion coefficient. Now I'm giving this to you. And while my concentration was not zero necessarily, it was very, very close to it. Could have probably just said it was zero to begin with. Now, with that in mind, what is going to be the flux into my hand? Now let's check to make sure that all my units are gonna work out well. Well, I've got centimeters squared here. I've got centimeters, centimeters, and centimeters. That all works out. Seconds and grams. Okay, so all my units are matching. There's no mismatch in the units, so I should be able to solve this. So I plug it in and I get 1.16 times 10 to the negative fifth grams simmer squared per second. Now that's more than 30 times the allowable flux. And so those gloves would be very, very unsafe to use in this case. Now, with that in mind, how many sets of gloves would I have to wear to make this allowable? Because I wanted to go, let's go back a little bit. I want 3.5 times 10 to the negative seventh. So I need 3.5 times 10 to the negative seventh here. And I have 1.16 times 10 to the negative fifth. So the only way I can change that is to increase this distance and maybe double up my gloves or triple up my gloves. Um, now, if I double this 0.04, so I'm dividing by another 0 0.04, actually, sorry, plus 0.04. And I'm going to have this. I've got to get 30 times. So if I want to drop it by a factor of 30, so 1 over 30, okay, it's going to be a 1 half to some power x. Hmm. Let's see. I could do math and actually solve this, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's see, it'll be 1 4th, 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 32nd. Okay, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I wore six pairs of gloves stacked on top of each other, I would be able to use it safely. However, I probably just want to find some better gloves because this diffusion constant right here, this diffusion coefficient, is going to be based on the material that my methylene chloride is passing through. And so if I can find one that has a much, much lower diffusion coefficient, then I'll have an easier time of it and not have to wear six gloves per hand. A dozen gloves, you know, total is just too much to deal with. <laughs> okay, fun little math there, fun little math there. Thank you all for listening. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.